Good evening. We begin with new details in a story we've been following for over a year. It involves the death of a beloved local pastor and the charges a police officer is facing. There are new details in the case. News 8 investigative reporter Jeff Dadarian has the story from Stanford. Jeff. Hey there, Ann and Dennis. The officer charged in connection with hitting Reverend Tommy Jackson has now been fired by the Stanford Police Department. That officer has pled not guilty and also told to turn in your gun and badge. And tonight, we're hearing from the Jackson family. July 26, 2023, Wire Mill Road. Reverend Tommy Jackson on his way to get the mail like he did every day. Police say he was hit by this man, Officer Zachary Lockwood, on his way to a call. Investigators say Lockwood was driving too fast and allegedly ignored a directive from dispatch to proceed slowly. Today, Tommy Jackson's daughter Erin telling News 8 word of his firing does bring some solace, but she says those thoughts about her dad are nonstop, all day, every day. Um, it's It's been the absolute worst, most surreal year and one month and a couple of days of our entire lives. In March, Lockwood pleaded not guilty to misconduct with a motor vehicle. His attorney has said Lockwood feels horrible about what happened. We left several messages for Lockwood's lawyer to be part of our story. No response. Police say the young officer tried frantically to keep Jackson alive that day, doing CPR at the scene. News 8 learning the family home where Jackson was hit up for sale now. The family saying it's painful too painful to stay. It's dealing with the, the, the travesty of the law so suddenly. Erin Jackson says the firing, in her words, took too long. There is no amount of time that would heal this wound. Stanford's mayor issuing this written statement to us, quote, I am aware that Zachary Lockwood has been terminated from his position as an officer with the Stanford Police Department. My thoughts and prayers remain with the Jackson family and all those impacted by this horrific tragedy. There's old saying that justice delayed is justice denied, and they felt that the delay in firing him while compensating him was very hurtful for them for so long. We did hear from the Stanford Police Union on the termination, saying, quote, the Stanford Police Association is very disappointed with the chief's decision to terminate Officer Lockwood. We're also saddened by those members of the community who turned this tragic accident into a race issue. We will continue to pray for both families and hope they get the positive support they need during this time. Erin Jackson says her father was a man for all people, and she hopes that doesn't get lost in all of this. He loved his position in, in service and in ministry and to the point where he was even a chaplain of the Stanford Police Department. And so this has never been a, an issue about race. It's always been an issue about public safety. To be clear, the police department or the union has not said specifically that Lockwood was fired because of his alleged role in the crash. So what happens from here? The criminal case against Lockwood, it goes on. Again, he's pleaded not guilty. And the Jackson family attorney says he'll be aggressively going after the city for damages. He says this firing does nothing to change that. Off the top tonight, we're live in the control room. Jeff Dadarian, News 8.